Hello, it's Thursday morning, it's about 20 past nine and I've just got out of bed. Isabel is still in bed, but I'm gonna go and wake her up in 10 minutes. She's probably set an alarm anyway, but you never know. Izzy's not in college today, it's her online learning day today. So when she gets up, she has two hours of online college and then she's gonna have a break for an hour and a half because this is how I've scheduled it. So she gets a good brain break and can eat something. And then she has her maths tutor hour session, which is something that I pay for privately. She's getting up. She's gone now. She's not happy to be up. <laughs> I think she wants to catch up on her sleep. She said the most annoying thing was she was dreaming about going to sleep when her alarm went off, so that's funny. <laughs> and I'm doing my usual morning thing, which is making myself a little pot of coffee and then going up to start work on the vlog again. You see, I always do the rough cut on the night after I filmed it and then the next day I finish it off and upload it and do all the stuff. So that's my routine. So it's kind of split over the evening and the next morning. And then come the afternoon, I'm ready to start filming again, except I'm filming now already for some weird reason. I always feel a bit weird starting filming the next one before I finish the old one. I feel like I should finish the old one and then get started on the next one. I've got one foot in yesterday and one foot in today and it's really weird. Oh, lovely, look at that. That's a beautiful smell. It's about 11 o'clock now and I'm just running myself a bar in my lovely clean sparkly bathroom that I gave a good clean yesterday. I didn't hear back from that plumber yet. I'll have to give him another ring about the toilet. If you missed yesterday's vlog, I was explaining that there's a continuous trickle coming down from the cistern into the pan at the moment so I need to get that sorted. I've had my bath, gone all red and blotchy again and I've noticed that I've got a missed call on my phone from the local area so I think that is probably the plumber so as soon as I've sorted my hair out I'm going to give him a call. No it wasn't the plumber, I checked. I think it was just one of these spam calls. They didn't leave a message and I checked the number and it's somebody else. So. I'm having my breakfast and watching a vlog at the same time. So this is corn cakes with butter, marmite and chia seeds. And I know normally people put them in things and they kind of swell up and go all soft, but I quite like them hard and crunchy as well. Oh no, it's a flipping disaster. There was just a very loud knock at the door. Isabel ran to answer it, got the package from Amazon and it was one of her birthday presents and now she knows what it is, because look at it. Now I really am all for less packaging, but <laughs> on this occasion, <laughs> I wish I'd answered the door. Oh. Anyway, yeah, it's one of her presents for her birthday that's coming up in a few weeks. Because she's getting to that age now where she's coming up to 16 and in a couple of years, she might be off to university. She might be leaving home. <laughs> it's getting quite close now. So with presents now, I'm kind of changing a little bit to sort of just starting to put in things that she can take with her when she starts her new independent life. <laughs> And she's into baking, so hopefully a hand whisk will be good for that, I hope. Bit of a long shot, she might not like it. Anyway, she knows what she's getting now. It's 1.40ish now, I just got completely sidetracked. I finished the vlog and then instead of getting up off my desk and walking away and doing something productive, no, I got sidetracked and drawn into one of my old vlogs from 2019 and was completely reminiscing about life before the pandemic and I was just blown away by how much busier I was then. Uh, I must say, I tell you what, Vlogging through the pandemic with so little happening in my life has been a challenge <laughs> and I really appreciate all the other daily vloggers that have kept it going because there's never been a more challenging time <laughs> to find interesting things to vlog about. Anyway, I am going to go for a walk now because the weather is looking amazing and it probably won't stay amazing because this is Wales after all. Oh and Lizzie's just started up her maths hour but I I quite trust her to go out and just carry on without me, it'll be fine. I've just discovered a pocket in my bag that I didn't even know I had. There's a pocket in the pocket. Look, it's probably for a wallet, I suppose. <laughs> this bag's got so many pockets, I, I can never remember which thing is in where. It's quite funny. Let's go out and get some sunshine. That elastic band just given me an idea. I seem to have found a new off-road route, which I'm trying. 
It's beautifully sunny, isn't it? It's all looking very high contrast because of the lovely light that we've got at the moment. I was just passing a corner shop just now and you know, in the olden days before the pandemic, I used to pop into the odd corner shop on my long walks if I ever did them, you know, to get a nice little chilled drink or a little snack or something, you know, spend a few pennies. Not possible now, but I have got emergency snacks and a drink in my bag. Yep, in there within lurking is a can of Pepsi cherry and also mini cheddars and a penguin. I'm not planning to eat any of it, but it's just there in case I get one of my big low blood sugar wobbles. Right, I'm going to carry on now. It's occurred to me just now that once the pandemic's over, I'm gonna have to get used to vlogging in public again, because I've just got into this cozy, comfortable habit of only talking to the camera when there's nobody about, well, apart from in shops, but I've been doing it on my phone and people probably just think you're on Skype or something, so it's no biggie. I wasn't gonna come out, I'm so glad I have though. I normally end up doing my walks quite late in the day once I feel like I've got the bulk of everything done that I need to do. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. This is completely new territory for me now. I'm glad I've found somewhere different to see. It's really stimulating, you know, when you just haven't seen anything different for so long. I'm trying to get better at filming. See, walking shots, that's a problem for me. When I say better, I mean stable. I'm still doing it, jerky jerky. Apparently you need to lock your elbows into sort of around your ribs. Have three points of contact on the camera. So I've got one hand there, grabbing the tripod, one hand there. I've got it hugged into me now. And they say, walk on your tiptoes. I am doing like that, but I look ridiculous. Bend your knees. I'm still jerking, I can see it. Ugh. I can't walk around like that down Queen Street in Cardiff when I get out and about again. Oh, look how pretty that gorse looks. I'm getting really hot now. I've got it, I've got it on one hand again. It's too awkward to do it in selfie mode with two. Right, I'm getting really hot because I'm doing the British thing. I've got a sun hat on because it's blindingly hot and a coat because it's not that warm, but actually I'm getting warm now. Now, that idea I was telling you about, you know, I saw that elastic band. Well, just immediately prior to that, you see, I've got this high pony thing going on and um, it, I forget, you know, it doesn't really work with sun hats because they're like pivoting on the top of it. It's like, it stops your hat fitting snugly. And I was thinking, oh, I know stick an elastic band on around the thing that'll stop it coming off might look a bit silly i mean basically marketing can make anything fashionable and desirable can't it no matter how ludicrous it is wonder where this path's gonna take us then oh that looks good down there i'm gonna go down there see what is that a ruined wall i like old masonry when it's falling apart i quite like having a little look at that she's going off road hold on to your hats and nettles and brambles are plenty. Oh, and bits of random plastic. There's a carpet of ivy and it's grown up these walls too. Um, it's very pretty, but apparently I'm fenced in. <laughs> so I won't be going any further. I wonder what this was. All overgrown and tumbled down and covered in moss now. Ooh. Oh, it's idyllic, isn't it? I don't think I can go down there. Well, might be able to. I don't think I'm going to just in case. I'm one of these people that doesn't like to break rules, as IB would tell you. That's probably private land. It looks so inviting though. If IB was here now, he'd be going, right, come on over the fence. <laughs> There's an old rusting thing there. I'm wondering what it is. Anybody know what that was formerly before it turned into a rusting obsolete artifact? I'm gonna go back the way I came and I need to remember I actually have got loads of things to do today. <laughs> so as fun as this is, I think I'd better get going. I've been walking along a sort of narrow road and to my great delight, I've come to a public footpath that is off-road, which is going off down there. So I'm pretty pleased about that because that's what I'm in the mood for. I'm now on this rather exciting looking route, which is very windy and got steep drop at one side. And over here, get ready for some sheep action. 
You know how I love my sheep action. Where are the drinking things? There they are. Is that a sheep's bum? Oh, there we are. Oh, look at those tree roots there. It's bent right over, look. Whew. I'm back home. It is absolutely busy out there. Town was thronging with crowds of people. All the takeaways were doing very well. You know, you, here in Wales, cafes are not open yet, but you can get takeaways. So people have been buying takeaway coffees and they're all sat out on walls and things like that in public areas. Oh, is he creeping past the camera? Because she's in her dressing gown. She's doing her college work in her dressing gown so today. fashionable. Apparently, maths tutor has, has tested her to the limit with hardness today. They always sound like they're having lovely chats when I walk past an earwig. I can only hear Izzy because she does everything with her headphones on. But it sounds so civilised and pleasant. Uh, just talking about the maths, obviously, not going off topic as far as I know, but yeah. Right, I'm all sweaty and I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I had the most random dinner last night when I came in from my walk. Since Izzy's been in college in person, I haven't been needing to cook her a meal in the evenings, which is kind of weird, but I'm not eating as much because quite often I've had a snack mid-afternoon and I'm not hungry by eight o'clock in the evening. I'm not really hungry at all. Um, so I have been cooking for myself very late in the evening, but weird things like one night I just had a pot noodle and another night, oh, I can't remember what I had, but last night, oh, one night I went without, I completely forgot. And then I got to about midnight and I thought, oh, blimey, I didn't have any dinner. So I was eating Bombay mix in bed and trying not to get it all in the covers. Um, but last night, I just, I boiled up some pasta. I forgot about dinner again, and I don't know, it was about getting on for nine o'clock at night. So I just boiled up some pasta, fried some frozen fish, and chucked in some mushrooms. That's all I had, and just stirred it in and seasoned it. And it was actually really, really nice, even though it was really simple. But I've got some of the plain pasta left, so I'm just gonna put something in with that now. Izzy has cooked herself something. I can see the remnants, baking trays and things around. Here's today's fast food assembled at the speed of light. It's just my leftover pasta with chopped tomatoes, basil, some of this squirty garlic puree, and just for good luck, a bit of bisto. Oh, also some soy sauce. Once I've had that, I am not going to do the things on my list. I'm going to go and edit what I've done because the problem with me is once I've filmed anything, I'm just bursting to get it on the laptop and have a look and have a fiddle around with it. I just can't help myself. I love it. It's the evening now and I'm frying up stuff. It's one of my tortellini meals. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our lives, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for updates about when we upload. If you like the video, it would really mean the world to me if you could give it a like because it actually helps the channel to grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Where is it? Oh my God, I can't see the screen. That elastic band just give me an idea.